Hello, I've just got my hands this morning on the higher level German paper and um, I'm just going to have a look through it with you. Today's higher level paper will be very well received among all students. It was very, very accessible to all levels and had very topical relevant areas, which is very common for the German paper. Um, as you all know, you walked into a very nice setup this morning. You could choose between the first comprehension or the second comprehension and then you had a choice between the grammar and the written piece. The first comprehension this morning opened beautifully with a lovely story about uh, the narrator being on holidays with his family, encountering and falling in love over a two-week period with a young refugee to discover uh, later on in a letter all about his history and background. So it was very, very accessible. There was a little bit of vocabulary that might challenge a few students, but overall I have to say um, a really, really lovely start. That comprehension was worth 25%, so uh, every student had a um, great opportunity here. Better again, we move into the grammar section, and as we are all aware, the grammar section you had to do one of two. Happy days for us all. We had the present tense to put into the imperfect, couldn't have asked for nicer, five verbs, 40 marks, 10% of your leaving cert. So that was amazing. And the second part was students had to fill in the prepositions into a paragraph. So there was absolutely very, very fair there. And I think all students would be happy with that. If you chose to take the second comprehension, you moved into the journalistic comprehension. This was also very, very relevant. And um, I must say now, it was so nice that it was about students studying at third level college and their experience of studying at home during the coronavirus. So it dealt with a topic that all students would have had experience with as well, and it covered their experience, first of all, of how to cope. Uh, it take, took two students, Pia and Philip, and they gave their personal experiences. And there was some vocabulary that might have challenged a few students, but overall, again, a very, very fair comprehension. That again got 25%, and the Oysung Sum Thema, which was worth 10% again, uh, was very, very nice. It asked you to give about your own experience of online learning and to talk about problems of refugees if you took the second part. The last part was worth 20%. So that was big this year. So you chose between the letter or the Oysung Sum or, or Schriftliche Produktion. And this had lots of topics that you'd all know more about than I would, which were podcasting, um, you were moving out from home, which is very topical at the moment, the Irish language, which has become one of the accepted 24 languages of the European now, so that was very relevant. And lots there for everyone, including work experience after the Leaving Cert. If you chose to do the actual short essay, it dealt with um, the increase in sales in books, how to stay fit and training at home, and students would have had a very, very good opportunity to write on topics that they would have covered in their oral. So it really gave you loads of scope. And the beauty about this exam was you had time, time to take time to do everything. And uh, a happy day round for all German students. And as you come to the end of a Friday, the second Friday, I always say we're very tired. Uh, for some, it might be the last exam. So you're going to have a great uh, weekend ahead. And may I wish you all the best of luck for those that are still to complete the last few.